Hi Musers, I'm Brooke and you're watching the Muse.tv. We're outside River Island on Oxford Street today and we're going to kick those January blues and inject some spring into our wardrobe. The lovely CVB star London fashion consultant and stylist is meeting me here now and she's going to help us update our wardrobes. Follow me inside, let's go and meet her. And there she is now, let's go and meet Stevie. Stevie. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So, thank you for coming today, I really Pleasure. appreciate it. Um, so you're a stylist, you style lots of celebrities, I believe. I am, I do. I've styled quite a few people over the years. Who's your favourite? Name a few. Well, I think uh, Kate Moss was pretty big. I liked styling her. Wow. Um, Jennifer Lopez, she was pretty stunning. Um, who else? Paris Hilton. Wow, I feel really, really excited that you're going to be styling me. What was the best outfit you put in, say, Kate Moss? Um, it was just a basic little play suit. It was just black, uh, belted it with a gold sort of snake belt and it actually made the front cover of Grazia, so that was great. Wow, amazing, that's fantastic. Right, so you're going to be styling me today? Yes. What have you got in your hands? Uh, just a few bits. I was thinking of a from work to going out outfit. So. That on its own for work is way too much, um, but if you team it with this pastel jacket over the top, thick pair of tights, then maybe get rid of the tights and the jacket for going to a bar or something after work. Wow, maybe change my heels? I think so. <laughs> Brooke, I love these for you. You're so tiny on bottom, they would be really flattering and really fun. Is this something you'd wear? They're quite daring, but do you know what? I think I'll give it a go. I trust you. I'm not sure that I would ever pick those out on my own, but as soon as I've got you here, I think it would be worth a shot. Great, and they're fairly muted as well. They're not as bright and garish as those, so it might not, and it works with grey if you wear a lot of grey. Which I do. So I think we're ready to go and start trying some stuff on. Yeah, we've got loads, let's go for it. OMG, it's time for my first outfit. I'm so excited! <laughs> Look one. Casual day look. Stevie, come and tell me what I'm wearing. Right, Brooke. Well, we put you in some flat brogues, which I know you weren't too keen on, but because they're such a narrow fit, they're really quite feminine. Yeah, they do. They feel really, really nice. And they don't look as chunky or as masculine as I thought I'd look in brogues. Brilliant. Then we've got the floral jeans. How do you feel in them? I actually love them. Oh, good. And because everything else is very plain and very kind of subtle, I don't mind the injection of floral print. And I know that this season florals are huge, so I'm going to have to start getting involved with it. Brilliant. And the open weave here and the blue denim underneath, are just like the layering effect in the spring, taking us through to summer. It's not quite warm enough yet. So how do you feel in that? Yeah, I feel really comfortable. I feel really stylish. It's got the colour inside, but it's also keeping my kind of my kind of subtle tones as well, which makes me very happy. Lovely. And if you wanted to have some fun, not this in particular, but you could play around with brooches to stick up here. I absolutely love this. So daytime is done and it's brilliant. Now let's see what Stevie's got in store for outfit number two. This is office tonight out. Stevie, come and show me how to do it. Right, Brooke, we've got the light, soft suede banana heel on, which is the heel of the season, which is looking gorgeous. We've got this pleather dress, so it's not real leather, and it's £45, which is a bargain. And then we've teamed it with this really soft, effortless, sort of soft pink blazer, and I just think the whole outfit together is really, really great for work. And this is definitely something I can reuse at work, with some black trousers and a shirt, or Absolutely. even out with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Exactly. Exactly. And then I'm going to show you what we can do if you've got a night out after work. You take the blazer off. Sure thing. So you pop into the toilets at work and do a transformation. And then we pop the necklace on here. You can change the heel to something chunky, even add some black tights. And then if you wanted to, you could add some kind of shrug or fur or something. Have some real fun with an after work mm -hmm. look. Now I can't wait to get myself out after a day in the office. But before we do that, let's look at the third and final outfit from Stevie. our big night out after a payday. See, so come and tell me what I'm wearing. I have to say I absolutely love this look and you really carry it off. So we've started here again with the banana heels, nice and comfy shoe height for clubbing. Oh, absolutely. And then we've got these woven black and white striped trousers. I love how they just hang and they're again so effortless and slouchy. And we've teamed them with this really fun t-shirt that's got the attached bow tie and the metallic leather jacket. Uh, without the bag, it kind of it's all quite dull, so we thought it would pop it with the bright neon that's very key for the season. 
and if you wanted to, we could lose the bag, go for a black bag and add the pink heel. I definitely feel like I could party all night in this look. I'm quite short, so generally I'm wearing six inch heels, but yeah. this feels good. This feels like I will be the last on the dance floor. And the trousers also, they don't feel too, too hot. I wouldn't normally wear trousers necessarily to a nightclub yeah. or a night out, but I feel like these are gonna keep the air in, keep me cool, and I'm just very excited about this look. Lovely, not many people can carry this look off the road, but I think you really do. Thank you. That's all we've got time for today on the news.tv. Thank you to River Island and Stevie B Style. I guess what we've learned today is that colour popping is still huge and florals are monochromes too. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm off to enjoy my goodies. Bye, muses.